Hey everybody, welcome back to Why Don't You Make Any More Fucking Content Simulator. I'm your host, Carissa. Welcome back. I'm sorry that I haven't made pretty much anything recently. Um, I just got a full-time job, so that's, you know, something fun. But, you know, as a result, um, I can't really spend as much time as I'd like to making content. And when I do have time, my uh, siblings are home and they often, uh, well, I don't really have a place that's quiet to record. Um, I will be getting my own apartment soon. And by soon, I mean, like, probably in three months or so. Um, so, once I do have my own place, I'll definitely be able to record a lot more. Um, and, you know, hopefully not be such a shitty YouTuber. <laughs> Anyway, this is uh, Shantae, Half Genie Hero. Just, I've had this game for a while, but you know, I just figured it'd be something fun to watch. Um, oh yeah, I've got like the sort of cheat mode because I beat the game already, so I have all the transformations. I don't have any of the abilities though. It looks like. Hmm. Oh well. Anyways. Or not all the transformations, the main one, sort of. But, you know, it's a fun little side-scroller, like, RPG sort of thing. You go around beating up baddies, doing quests and stuff, solving puzzles, all that stuff. Art style is really cool. Absolutely no fan service whatsoever, you know? Like, none. I just like the art style. Nothing else at all. Um, but yeah, it's pretty cool. I like the music. And you're basically this little genie girl, and you have like little dancing powers to like turn you into different stuff and get different abilities. Where, like, I've got some. Um, this one where I turn to a little mouse. And that's just really for puzzles. So there's like this monkey one that's like really fast and it can climb walls and jump high. Like, see? Climbs walls pretty neat. And then your main method of attacking is just whipping your hair. Just whipping it back and forth. Whipping, whipping that hair. Um, yeah, it's, the characters are funny. It's got a good little sense of humor. I would really recommend it. I mean, even if it is a little bit of the heavy-handed fan service aspect. It's just a fun game, you know? Like, I think I've gotten almost 100% of the achievements on it. Because it's just, you know, fun game. Plus, there's not many games like this where, like, you can sort of shapeshift, and I think that's pretty cool. You can turn into, like, an elephant and just fuck shit up. And then it looks like it's the first boss battle here. Oh, no. I lied. I forgot. It's been a while. Um. So yeah, in the future, I am going to try and make more games, make- replay more games, make more content, hopefully have more people to join in, so it's not just you listening to my dumbass scrambling for words while I try and play, too. Um. But yeah, it'll be fun. Especially once I get my own place. I might, it's still sort of up in the air, but I might end up uh, sharing an apartment with Denny from the sort of uh, No Man's Sky run through. He did the channel art. He's a good meme. Um. What else is he on? He's, he's been on a lot of episodes. So, if we do end up living in the same apartment, uh, you'll be expecting a lot more from him. There's a little secret area that you're not supposed to get this early in the game, but... Yeah, so you get little abilities for your different forms. So this lets you... When you're climbing on a wall as a monkey, you can like shoot across and do damage and shit. It's pretty, pretty neat. Oh, shit. 
think I just backtracked. No? Okay. See, I was gonna actually try and play Let It Die today, and I went and booted it up and there was like an update. I'm like, whatever, I don't need the update, blah blah blah. It's just like, if you want to use network features. I'm like, okay, well, fuck it. Don't need network features, I'm just gonna be playing with myself. So, I booted it up and it like took forever and it's like, if you want to use network features, download the update. I'm like, I don't want to use network features, I just want to play offline, you know? But it wouldn't let me play it, no matter what. So I'm guessing it might be like a sort of Dark Souls-esque thing, maybe, where you need to be online? I don't know. <laughs> anyway, she's like the main baddie. She's got risky boots, because she's risque and has boots. boots. I thought so. Touch, touch. Looking for this? Oh yeah, in the previous game she like sort of teamed up with Shantae, I think? I think it was the previous one. But, uh, now she's back to being a baddie. <laughs> and the best boss in the game. Part omni-organic, partially titanic, ocean optional, tinker slug. The poop too. <laughs> Alright, so first boss battle. Let's give it a go. Don't call it poop too. <laughs> Um, oh god, I can't remember. Oh, right, this is how I do it. And then you just sort of- yeah, the bosses usually have this sort of puzzle aspect where like, you gotta do something to like, incapacitate him, and you beat the ship up, sh shit out of him. Looks like next barrel isn't ready. You just gotta dodge it. Alright, nice. And here we go! Whoa! And there you go. First boss battle done. And then it goes kabloom, and then you get like a little end of stage item, I think. Or usually you do. Oh yeah, so you get little quest items and then you take it back and do all the quests and shit like that. <laughs> the end of that level. Um, I guess that's enough time for today. So, again, I really apologize about how I really haven't been doing much recently. I'm trying to fix that. Thank you all for those who have sort of stuck with me. Um, if you have any suggestions on games you'd like to see me play, or games I should just look at in general, Feel free to leave a comment below, and uh, as always, be sure to like, share, all that good stuff, and I'll see you next time, where I hopefully am a not a shithead. See you later!